And a happy Thursday to you. It was not a happy day for sports fans, uh, either locally or around the Northwest yesterday. Let's see. The Wild loss, Kraken loss, Mariners loss. Where do I start? Well, we'll start with George Kirby and the Mariners getting shelled by Cleveland yesterday afternoon at T-Mobile Park. 8 nothing. the final. Kirby kept throwing it over the plate. The Guardians kept slapping it around the ballpark as the right-hander gave up eight runs on ten hits and just three and two-thirds. Manager Scott Service said it was a miserable day at the ballpark. We did not have a good effort today, and um, you, sh you shouldn't be in a game when you play like that. Uh, we just really from the get-go, um, obviously George has been so consistent uh, over his time here, and they had a game plan. They had a game plan. They were going to stay super aggressive. They were going to swing. They're going to put the ball in play, which they're really good at, and and we didn't make some plays behind them. So that certainly got a, got away from us early, and um, before you know it, we were we were out of the ball game. You know, George is he likes to get it going with his fastball, and then get into the the off-speed pitches. They were certainly ready for it. Um, you know, he made a little adjustment there as the game went on, but uh, you know, not enough. So again, teams are going to attack him differently. Um, you know, based on on the the makeup of their lineup and the skill set they have. And, you know, they they executed it perfectly today. Slow start offensively. Uh, I think, you know, you look at the, uh, the, the, the kind of the whole homestand and, and where we're at, we do need to make some adjustments there. Uh, I thought today was the day we'd get it rolling. Yeah, it didn't happen because we got behind the eight ball real early. Well, they'll have a day to make those adjustments as they head to Milwaukee to face the Brewers in the first of a three-game set tomorrow at 510 on Root Sports Northwest. Seattle Kraken looked like their skates were in mud last night at a 5-2 loss at Los Angeles. Kings jumped out to an early 2-0 lead before Seattle finally countered. Andre Burakovsky and Brian Dumoulin found the back of the net on a bad night for the Kraken. Drew Doughty, this way for Kopitar. Doughty again, around the horn for Fiala. To the goal line, Arvidsson, Kempe scores! Adrian Kempe, unmarked down in front. It's a power play goal. 10.36 left to go in this first period. 1-0 Los Angeles. Going wide, Kaprikov to the goal line, it's Arvidsson. High slot, Dubois, this way, Roy. A tip, they score! Relatively young player now through center. Dubois on cue. Drop pass. Moore. Shot stopped by Gruber. The rebound. And score. It's Trevor Moore. No shooting lanes for now. McCann. The goal line. Bjork straight in front. They score. Andre Burakovsky. With 2.03 left in terms of the power play. Good pass, Dumoulin, Morgan, his shot blocked, lets up, and a breakaway. Kevin Fiala, Fiala walks in, he scores! Kevin Fiala. Yanni Gord gets to it, here he comes. Tanev, back for Gord, power move off Talbot. Gord, beautiful pass, Dumoulin, he scores! Brian Dumoulin goes top shelf. Feeds it all the way across, Dubois. Off the boards, a foot race. Trevor Moore will steam in for the hat trick. He gets it. Trevor Moore. From that corner with five seconds left. Riker Evans. Well, the shot stopped by Cam Talbot. And that'll do it. Afterwards, Dumoulin said Seattle just gave Los Angeles too many easy chances to score. Yeah, I think whenever you play a team like L.A., you can't give them anything easy, and we did that tonight. Um, didn't, they didn't have to work for their chances, and uh, they capitalized on the opportunities that they got. And um, when playing a team like that, you just got to be, be a little bit more patient, and um, they definitely took advantage of the chances we gave them. We're, we're, we're playing for other things here. And I'm, you know, disappointed with the outcome today. We, we left some, some of our effort on the table. Um, and again, um, I don't think our effort was poor, but we, had, we left too much uh, in the tank here today. Seattle remains in Southern California to face the Anaheim Ducks tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. That'll be on Root Sports Northwest Plus. 
The Wenatchee Wild have their backs against the wall in their WHL playoff series after a 3-1 loss in Game 4 last night in Kelowna. Rockets took a 3-1 series lead in a hard-fought back-and-forth contest to Prospera Place as the home team got on the board first. Regan Bartell had the call on the Kelowna Rockets Hockey Network. By Crystal, he has at the right point. Long attempt here to the side. Graham in front, not the way they score. Max Graham, maybe the man that will be credited with the goal. And he's intimidate the Rockets once the score got a little offside. And here comes again. In the score. It's in. Jersey and now it's an extra large with all the holding and hooking. Here comes Ezo Guy with a chance. He'll score. He skated away from a check. Had a partial breakaway. Tilton fired. Piping in. A chance now for Moore. Centering feet. Sights a shot safe. Another chance. Backhand. Worked wide of the net. And boy, Kickinen is literally trapped in a trapezoid out of position. Countering back in is Boo Cards. He'll send here. Nick Angerty in front. And Arpa chance. And Kickinen comes from his right to his left. Or maybe to his left to his right to make that save. Board moves that puck here again for Cooper. Side in front. Quick drive. And I think Kingdom got a piece or didn't hit the near post. Crystal tries to engage on the bear. He's got a steal. Centering feed. They score! Did wide. Came to the side of the net. And is gathered up in front. A shot wide. Came to the side. And a great pass saved by Whiteman. And time will expire with Yari Kekinen on his backside. When Anchi got back into town after a long bus ride in the middle of the night last night with broadcaster Austin Drani joining Dan Coons on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley this morning, he said it wasn't for a lack of effort last night. 2 nothing after the first period. How great a start could it be? But you look at how the guys were playing in that first period, uh, just that flute goal off a uh, skate and a body there in the first, and uh, they were able to find some space uh, to make pass through neutral ice uh, to get T.J. Ginla that goal, but halfway through the first period, you know, our, uh, our coaches on the bus ride home are looking at the film and, uh, and measuring up actual scoring chances, not just shots on goal, throw the puck at the net and, and get credit for one, but actual good scoring chances that uh, these teams got. And the Wild were out chancing them for nothing halfway through the period. And it was one nothing game going the other way. It was that kind of night all night. Uh, give credit to uh, Yari Kikinen, who's been outstanding in net for them uh, the last three games. And uh, it was uh, it was a game that I agree with Roy Sommer. These guys definitely deserved a better outcome. But uh, that's uh, that's the way the puck bounces sometimes. And now he got some work to do on Friday night. Wenatchee hosts a must-win game five tomorrow night at the Town Toyota Center. And Drotty says they'll need a good crowd behind them. Uh, I think playing a, a solid 60-minute game, which the guys have done for the most part, save for uh, maybe a breakdown here or there. Uh, the guys have played a good 60-minute game. They just need the bounces, and uh, they need to get rewarded for it. But it starts with getting on the board first and uh, getting the momentum in the game, and, uh, and in this case, getting the crowd behind us tomorrow night. They'll drop the puck tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. For tickets, go to WenatcheeWildHockey.com. Well, there's not much happening here locally as far as the preps are concerned. Just a couple of baseball games on the schedule earlier today. Brewster was hosting Meridian while Lake Roosevelt played at Okanagan. Prep soccer earlier today, Chelan hosting Elma. Coming up tonight, it's uh, Efreda playing at Sela. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Have a happy Thursday.